One day, an opossum who had gone to sleep hanging from the highest branch of a tree by the tail, awoke and saw a large snake wound around the tree limb between him and the trunk of the tree. If I hold on, he said to himself, I'll be swallowed, but if I let go, I will break my neck. Then suddenly, he bethought himself to dissemble. My perfected friend, he said, my parental instinct recognizes in you a noble evidence and illustration of the theory of development. You are the opossum of the future, the ultimate fittest survivor of our species, the ripe result of progressive prehensility, all tail. But the snake, proud of his ancient eminence in scriptural history, was strictly orthodox and did not accept the scientific view. A dog that had seen a physician attending the burial of a wealthy patient said, When do you expect to dig it up? Why should I dig it up? the physician asked. When I bury a bone, said the dog, it's with an intention to uncover it later and pick it. The bones that I bury, said the physician, are those I can no longer pick. A fawn said to its father, you are larger, stronger, and more active than a dog, and you have sharp horns. Why do you run away when you hear a dog barking? Because, my child, replied the buck, my temper is so uncertain that if I permit one of those noisy creatures to come into my presence, I am likely to forget myself and do him an injury. A drunk man was lying in the road with a bleeding nose, upon which he had fallen, when a pig passed his way. You wallow fairly well, said the pig, but my fine fellow, you have much to learn about rooting. A dog of taciturn disposition said to his tail, Whenever I am angry, you rise and bristle. When I am pleased, you wag. When I am alarmed, you tuck yourself in out of danger. You are too mercurial. You disclose all my emotions. My notion is that tails are given to conceal thought. It is my dearest ambition to be as impassive as the Sphinx. My friend, you must recognize the laws and limitations of your being, replied the tail, reflections appropriate to the sentiments uttered, and try to be great in some other way. The Sphinx has 150 qualifications for impassiveness, which you lack. What are they? the dog asked. 149 tons of sand on her tail. And? A stone tail.